Arewa Forum raises alarm over urbanization, legalization of Tidubo's appointment. Eh, uh, not be today. It's all of the kill and divide. We can fight to ourselves. The outside people have done their own under uh, Buhari government. Now it is another turn for the Yorubas to also do their own. So do not complain. When Buhari was doing his own, he brought almost all the villagers from Daura in Kasina State, his village, down to Asorok. Okay? And they were eating and they took charge of the whole Asorok and the whole of Abuja. And they were operating like no other person existed. Now their era is gone. And that was what gave it, uh, Buhari the impetus to allow Boko Haram and bandits to thrive, thinking he could use it for Islamization of Nigeria. Now the song has changed. It's no longer Islamization of Nigeria. It is now Yorubanization and Lagosalization of Tinubu's government. All these political terms and jargons are just for selfish interest. I tell you, self-aggrandizement. It's a socio-cultural uh, pressure group, Arewa Economic Forum, AEF, has raised the alarm over the alleged one-sided appointment by President Bola Tinubu, terming the alleged anomaly as urbanization and legalization agenda. <laughs> Not Islamization agenda again. See all of them. Addressing a press conference on Wednesday in Abuja, the chairman of the forum, Ibrahim Shew Dan. Dan Dakata, Dan Dakata, oh boy, he alleged that the most of the persons uh, Mr. Tinubu appointed as heads of strategic government agencies in finance and ICT are from the south, west, and also of the Lagos Aziz. Mr. Dan Dakata added that both the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Edu, and the acting governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Fola Shodun, Shunubi, are from the Southwest. Now, while expressing displeasure over the seeming nepotism, Mr. Dan Dakata lamented that the North, which significantly contributed to the enthronement of Tinubu government, is being left out in the finance and ICT sectors, which are crucial to economic development. Not really. So according to him, it is even regrettable that some chief executive officers of some key government agencies and parastatas who are not an ass are gradually being replaced with Lagosians, adding that there is the fear that more may be replaced. He said as a patriotic, refined statesman who won a credible national mandate of February 25, 2023, President Bolatinubu has a duty to not only be fair to all parts of the country, but also be seen to be fair to all parts, can you imagine? Hmm. The Minister of Finance and the Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Wale Edu, and the Acting Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, uh, CBN, Mr. Fola Shodun Shodubi, are both from the Southwest, and we admit that they are eminently qualified for their respective positions. The Minister of Communications, Innovations and Digital Economy, Mr. Bosun Tijani, is from the Southwest, and even the Chairman of Senate Committee on ICT, Senator Afolabi Salisu, and that of House of Representatives, Honorable Adideji Olajide Odiodiomo, are all from the Southwest. Hmm. We have now found that even some agencies whose chief executive officers were removed, like Customs and NIMC have been replaced by people from the Southwest, he said. The forum, however, commended the president for retaining some outstanding Northerners who are doing very well in finance and ICT sectors, adding that the North has more capable hands who can equally help in fully in who can help him fulfill his economic agenda. Hmm. We must commend the president for retaining some performing chief executive officers of leading agencies in the economy and digital world from the north, like Bello Hassan of NDIC and uh, Kashifu Inua of NITDA, who are making the nation proud by their outstanding performances. 
So we also wish to thank Mr. President for not yielding to pressure to remove the performing officers and calling on him to also appoint similar competent, qualified, experienced and result-oriented personalities from the North and elsewhere to help other vital agencies, the chairman added. Mr. Dan Dakata, however, expressed the fear that some of these outstanding Northerners could be removed and replaced with Lagosians. There is, however, palpable fear that more Northerners may be recommended for removal and their replacement may take a similar pattern. We are afraid to state that a situation whereby the appointees is crucial in crucial economic sectors and not only from the southwest but also connected to the Lagos Aziz suggests a deliberate urbanization and legalization of the polity. We may never see anything. In his appointment, changes and replacement, we call on the president to be wary of actions that can send a wrong signal on his true intentions or the agenda of some of his key lieutenants, the chairman argued. So he gave the example of how the leadership of the National Identity Management Commission, NIMC, was changed recently, saying it is capable of setting a bad precedent. Okay? <laughs> For example, the president last week directed the immediate past director general of the NIMC engineer Ali Abubakar Aziz to vacate office and proceed on terminal leave. And in his place, he appointed engineer Bisoye Kuka Odusote as acting DG. But in the same directive, the president asked her to continue as substantive DG immediately after acting for three months. Many found this curious as it is actually unprecedented. I never see anything. Hmm. I never see anything. So now that Yoruba and Aousas are dividing the country and taking everything by the share. If the president could not allow the most senior director in the commission to act or for some time, he should have instructed Madame Kuka Odusote to resume her four-year tenure immediately instead of making her enjoy an extra three months. This is capable of setting a, ba setting a bad precedent in public service appointment. It is not too late for Mr. President to turn the corner and do the needful in upcoming appointments and crucial decisions. We believe firmly that this president means well for our dear nation, but he and his listeners need to understand optics as per perception is reality. We urge Mr. President not to yield to sectional pressure for parochial appointment and patronage on the critical sectors of our economy. In his appointment, changes and replacements, we call on the President to be wary of actions that can send wrong signal on his true intentions or the agenda of some of his key lieutenants. Hmm. We expect President Tinubu to be fair just and equitable in his decisions, not only because Northerners overwhelmingly voted for him, but because that that is the right thing to do. Uh -huh. The chairman concluded. Can you imagine? So now, now in all of this, uh, this statement, where is Southeast in it? They are still propagating the hatred for the Igbos. Quite unfortunate. So when your useless president Buhari started it, where were you? That is the question somebody is asking here. Eh? As if they pin them, if they sweet us. This is Yoruba singing their own song here. Somebody said, Aisha Abubaka. Okay, you said the truth. I love it. But let's try to correct the wrong foundation. Buhari laid and do the right thing. Let Tinubu carry everyone along in his government. Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, and all other tribes. When an Igbo become president, he will also carry everyone along then we will be happy with ourselves for where they won't do it they they, they won't give you any chance because they are, their enemy is Igbo. Yorubas and Aosas have combined themselves to fight the Igbos to extinction that is it somebody say when is their turn in demonic Buhari administration okay where was um, their voice you hear the smell Nobody complained when Abu Hari was appointing 
uh, only Northerners. So Tinubu said, it is done. Buhari has finished her turn. Why complaining? That is how surface is now talking. <laughs> now, uh, okay, oh, this is a complaint coming from the north, but unfortunately, I don't know what Buhari, what Tinubu will do about that. Now, in during the Buhari time, it was a serious war against Islamization and jihadism in Nigeria. Now, the uh, Yoruba is there. The outside is crying of Yorubanization and Lagosalization uh, in Nigeria. God will help us in this country. So thank you for listening and let's have your comments.